Hi, my name's Dr. Claire Evans. I'm a senior research scientist at the National Oceanography Centre. Throughout last year, we had a number of field campaigns. The team actually took small boats up into the rivers where they were sampling for various parameters. So looking at the organic material in the water and the inorganic materials as well. Now we're very interested in this because potentially if we increase the amount of these soil materials coming into these aquatic bodies, this can influence the health of those ecosystems. So we know that if the nutrients vary, this might stimulate, uh, for example, uh, harmful algal blooms or the growth of uh, various species there on, and also have impact on things like the commercial fisheries. So we um, examined a number of rivers and contrasted uh, rivers which have various uh, land use within their catchments. So one was pristine, so we had beautiful um, sort of intact rainforest or peat swamp forest if you like, and so the team saw monkeys and various other wildlife. And um, also we contrasted this with a more degraded river system. Um, so here we saw still some indigenous uh, forest, but also quite a lot of commercial activity going on. And then we had one river where the catchment was completely degraded and um, the, whole, uh, uh, the whole area surrounding that river um, was being used to cultivate commercial crops. So we had a team looking right from up to the top of the river, if you like, or above where the, the sea actually penetrates into that river, right out into the marine environment and examining what was going on with the flux or the flow, if you like, of these kind of soil materials and then the impact on those habitats.